Did you see that Mark Zuckerberg basically just pitched the Matrix? <laughs> He's rebranding Facebook as the Metaverse. He's essentially trying to sell you on what the future is going to be like. He's selling your future back to you. And it's essentially the internet rebranded and reperceived through a VR headset in a more immersive, pseudo-realistic way. The next platform and medium will be even more immersive, an embodied internet where you're in the experience, not just looking at it. And we call this the metaverse. But the way that he tries to sell it back to you is basically using buzzwords that are misleading, like teleport. Teleport to a private bubble to be alone. When in reality, the only teleporting that you're gonna be doing is when the metaverse glitches out and you wake up in a vat of NeuroGel with a cord plugged into your wiener and another extension cord plugged into your spinal cord straight through your medulla oblongata and you have the horrifying realization that reality as you know it never truly existed. Whoa. We believe the metaverse will be the successor to the mobile internet. We'll be able to feel present, like we're right there with people, no matter how far apart we actually are. Oh, cool, look, dude. Sweet Baby Ray is on the bookshelf where we all keep our barbecue sauce. Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. That is going on the ribs. Sweet Baby Ray. Sweet Baby Ray's. Sweet Baby Ray's. We have just applied the Sweet Baby Ray's. <laughs> it's just him trying so hard to be like, I'm in on the joke. Remember when I put up that weird video about smoking meats and it became a meme? I smoke meat? Smoking meat. Smoking these meats. Smoking meats earlier in the day. Smoking these meats. How many of you guys are, are eating brisket and ribs tonight? Brisket and, and ribs. I totally get it, dude. And I was a part of it. And it was intentional. And I'm funny and likable. And I'm definitely a human being. They taste doubly better when, um, when you, you hunted the animal yourself. So. We're gonna talk about the future. So let's start by exploring what different kinds of metaverse experiences could feel like, starting with the most important experience of all, connecting with people. Honestly, I think he's just trying to show you the technology that he's always been using ever since he was created in a lab to perceive the world around him. And he does so in a, in a video that's an hour and 17 minutes long, which is, hey man, way too long for uh, the amount of information that you actually gave. So, tighten it up. You know what I mean? Hey, are you coming? Yeah, just gotta find something to wear. All right, perfect. <laughs> I love that the idea is that you can do absolutely anything in this new metaverse, right? Infinite possibilities, and he chooses what he's already wearing in real life. Oh, hey, Mark. Hey, what's going on? Hey, hi. Mark. hi, Mark. What's up, Mark? Oh, hi, Mark. Uh, this place is amazing. <laughs> Boz, is that you? Of course it's me. You know I had to be the robot, man. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to be the robot. <laughs> oh, again, dude, another little, uh... Self-awareness joke, totally scripted by him, because he's a human, about being a robot, because people talk about him as a robot. Mark gets it, dude. Hey, wait, where is Naomi? Let's yes, call her. Naomi! <laughs> hey, should we deal you in? Hey. Sorry, I'm running. I thought he said he was getting rid of screens and looking at screens through little tiny boxes. What is this, Mark? It's a screen within a screen? If you guys like it here, I have another room that you're gonna love. Check out this forest room. Koi fish that fly? That's new. This is wild. Yo, that's wild. Koi fish that fly? Whoa. It's gonna be great when this gets hacked for the first time and there's just giant dongs flying around. Bumping into your face and shit. Like, oh. <laughs> hey, one sec, Boz, it's Priscilla. Hey, you have to see this. Beast is going crazy. Oh, I love that guy. Again, a screen, so. Maybe you'll play old games in new ways. Okay, check. <laughs> maybe you'll go head to head with players from around the world. Or maybe you'll do things that aren't even possible in gaming today. Like ping pong and chess. Radical, dude. 
What a radical re-envisioning of the world we live in. <laughs> I'm a dickhead, dude. All right, backflip. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! I've got an idea. Hey, where are you going? Gotta pump it to jump it. What? I didn't even know that was an option. Gotta pump it to jump it, dudes. Ha. Tube City! Kai, you're out of control. You wanna go again? Maybe later. I'm gonna need a lot more sunscreen, though. Ah, sunscreen joke, because remember that viral picture of Mark Zuckerberg when his face was just covered in zinc because he was out surfing in the sunshine? Again, dude, he gets it. He's in on the joke. You're stupid, actually. You're the dumb one for not thinking that he, he got it, because, again, super, definitely human. Definitely a human being who understands humor. Now, Deb from our studios team is joining me. Deb, do you want to take us through some of the exciting games in the pipeline for Quest? Absolutely. We've had the opportunity to work with incredible developers, like Vertigo Games. Way too much hand movement. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg is talking so much with his hands that it's become completely unnatural. And then Deb is like, yo, you think you got sick hand talking game? Wait till you see this shit that I can do. They're like... <laughs> They're like the world's worst rappers out there. That game basically got me and my friends through the first few months of the pandemic. That's awesome. If you enjoyed that, Mark, I think you'll be excited that we're partnering with Vertigo on five more great games. That's awesome. You're going to be excited, Mark. Double gun. She literally did double guns, dude. That's brilliant. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's always good when in the middle of a pitch, they have a fake scripted out conversation. It's always it, it's always good. It always comes off natural, dude, and it definitely doesn't seem fake and make anybody uncomfortable. So good move. So one of the most important aspects will be live service games that launch updates and new downloadable content regularly. You can see his head just sort of like bobbling around like an NPC. He's definitely like reading her lines at the same time as she's doing it. And that's got to be extremely distracting to her. So, you know, props to her for being able to get these lines out with him sitting there. <laughs> Beat Saber has a passionate community. Oh, I love Beat Saber. So do I. The team has been working on something really cool. Check this out. I can't wait to play. That wasn't even a thing, dude. That was the worst. That was the worst trailer I've ever seen. It was a nothing. It was a title screen. Here's another upload from the channel Meta. Always has its likes and dislikes turned off and its comments turned off as well. Which is always a good sign, dude. And definitely doesn't mean that there's a discrepancy in the way that they want you to perceive things and the way that they're being perceived. So let's check this out. This is the dimension of imagination. I want nothing to do with that fever dream of that dimension, dude. Whatever the hell this shit is, that is terrifying. Just twerking flamingos. That sucked and I hated it, thanks. Look out, Black Mirror. Reality just got stranger than fiction. I guess it'll be sick to, you know, attend a loved one's wedding when in reality I'm just naked at home on the couch while my cat withers away from malnutrition because I've been too busy surfing it up with Mark Zuckerberg and this alternative reality to actually feed him. Gotta to jump it. Peace. Big, 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 big